Yes, welcome back to Easy Gates K22 Easy Memory Based Questions and Solutions. Let us get into the next problem. Uh, we have seen three problems from analog electronics. Next one from electrical circuits. Okay. Let me get into the problem slide. Yes, yes, that's a problem. So in circuits also we had easy problems only. Okay, so relatively. Uh, comparing to gate 21, the problems are very easy, very easy only, okay, in uh, gate 22, easy paper. This is also proving that point. So given uh, we have uh, two resistors and one capacitor, the impedance is at of S. Its locus is given. Impedance locus is given. So locus of the impedance of the given network as omega takes values from zero to infinity. So exactly, I have to say it is zero radian per second to infinity radian per second. Okay, shortly I'm saying zero to infinity radian per second. That's a frequency. Okay, assuming that you are varying the frequency of the supply, varying from zero to infinity, and what will happen to the impedance of the given circuit. Okay, that's what the locus is talking about. So yes, let me get into the problem statement. The impedance locus is shown in figure for the given circuit. The values of R1 and R2 respectively are. So locus is given. The locus starts from omega equal to zero, ends at omega equal to infinity. Problem is we need to find out the values of R1 and R2. Probably C also given, I guess, but that C is not really coming into the play. Okay, irrespective of whether C is given in the problem or not. Okay, problem is not depending on the value of C. Why? We'll see soon. Okay, yes. So impedance locus means blindly how to go for the impedance. It's magnitude. Okay, it's magnitude. It's only the, uh, actually it is going to have uh, impedance locus means, uh, tell me, let me check whether I have committed a small mistake. Yes. Okay, so it's not modulus, the overall locus. That means uh, it's a polar coordinate. It is going to have its magnitude and phase angle. Okay. Yes, that's important. Okay, so it's only not only the magnitude, the locus means it is going to have a magnitude and phase angle. Yes, it's M angle phi. Let me take that way. Okay, we'll see. So what is the impedance? Is that a phase for the given network? So we have R1 in series with the parallel combination of R2 and C. So I can write is that a phase is equal to R1 plus R2 parallel the impedance offered by the capacitor that is 1 by S into C. So which can be written as R1 plus this parallel combination will result in R2 into 1 by SC divided by R2 plus 1 by SC. Assuming two impedances are in parallel R2 and 1 by SC, that's a resultant. Then the net impedance offered by the circuit is going to become R1 plus, then if you take LCM, we will end up with uh, and numerator will be R2 by SC, denominator will be SR2C, I can say, SR2C plus 1. That's your total impedance. Let me set Z, uh, that is S equal to G omega. So I'll get Z of G omega. Then the result is going to be R1 plus R1 divided by, let me take it like real plus imaginary. So 1 plus, this is R2, so small mistake. <clears throat> so this is R2. So 1 plus J omega into R2C. Given, refer the locus, refer the locus and focus on the magnitude. The starting point of the locus is omega equal to 0. Ending point of the locus is omega equal to infinity. So at starting point, the impedance is purely real. It is 5 angle 0 kilo. And ending point also, it is purely real. It is 2 angle 0 kilo ohm. So let me take that data. So omega and is a term J omega. Okay, so omega equal to zero spells starting point of the locus. Infinity spells ending point of the locus. Given it is five kilo ohm at an angle zero degree. Or five angle zero kilo ohm, you can say. This is two kilo ohm at an angle zero degree. Yes. So the given impedance has to meet this. When omega equal to zero and omega equal to infinity. Hereafter, the problem is very simple. So this is what the idea I have to get for this problem. Then it's very easy problem to connect. Yes, then now let omega equal to zero in this. If omega equal to zero, then Z of J omega is going to be under this condition, the impedance of the network is going to become R1 plus 
R2 divided by if omega is 0, you'll get 1 plus J0. That is nothing but R1 plus R2. That is what exactly given indirectly. So that is R1 plus R2 is equal to, it's purely real. I can say it's 5 kilo ohm. And this is also purely real. So let me say it is 5 kilo ohm. That means the total resistance R1 plus R2 for the given circuit should be equal to 5 kilo ohms. Then set omega equal to infinity. Omega equal to infinity, you have to play little carefully. So Z of J omega, because you are letting omega equal to infinity and just bring the fundamental of your final value theorem. Okay, uh, sorry, initial value theorem. There you are letting usually S, S tends to infinity. Initial value theorem. So whenever S tends to infinity, the habit is you need to make it one by S. Similar to that, you're going to let omega equal to infinity, try to make your expression Z of J omega look like one by omega, so that omega equal to infinity will give you a decisive answer. Okay, so let me go for that. So this is R1 plus, let me divide numerator and denominator by omega. So I'll take it as R2 by omega and divide it by, it's one by omega plus J, what I get? R2 into C. Okay. So now let omega equal to infinity. As a result, omega infinity means first term will be R1. Second term, omega infinity means automatically going to become 0 by something. Sorry, infinity. Uh, yes, yes, in 0 by something. Because omega is infinity. So 0 by something, it is going to be 0. Therefore, it is going to yield only R1. That is also purely real. That is given as 2 kilo ohm. Okay, so that's very indirect data for the total R1 plus R2 and R1 alone. With this, the problem is over. You got your R1, 2 kilo ohm, then immediately you know R1 plus R2 equal to 5 kilo ohm means then R2 will be 5 kilo ohms minus your R1. Therefore, R2 will become, substitute your R1, will end up with 3 kilo ohm. Yes. Okay, so that's why I said the capacitor is not really coming into the play. Probably one more data is given here. Okay, so this point is also mentioned, but that data is redundant, not record actually. You may also use that data, but it is not going to help us to complete the problem quickly. So starting point of the locus of this impedance of the circuit and ending point of the locus of the circuit is enough to give the answer for this such an interesting problem. Okay, and hope you understood and hope that is the answer you have given in your examination so the correct answer it was a mcq problem okay so there were multiple options having r1 uh, probably 2 kilo ohm and r2 yes only one option had exactly r1 2k and r2 3 kilo ohm so that is the right answer so r1 2k r2 3k is the perfect answer for this problem okay yes so we'll update you with one more problem so thanks for watching. Do subscribe our channel. Okay. And also share this to your friends as well. Okay. Thank you.